This is what happens when you let your toddler run your office. Look at this mess on the floor. We've got a Motec on the floor. We have some Mexican chanclas. We've got a Gatorade. Damn kid. Anyways, welcome back. Yo, sorry to everybody about the sound. Our man Jesse that's doing the editing kind of messed up there, right? The last one. But we'll get it right. We'll get it right. It is Friday. It is National Six Bow Day. So, everybody, enjoy Six Four Day. Let's drop some Impalas. Boom, 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 boom. Impalas everywhere. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Day. Johnny, come yeah, on, yeah. bro. Sorry, bro. Anyways, you know what? <laughs> Usually we have to turn music off because what, what's it monetizing? Yeah. So we're keeping music on today because yeah. it's Happy Friday. Let's go. So, everybody, enjoy this movie, this video without ads. Don't need ads. So my buddy from AGX asked me to borrow my tool so they could flash Alex Choi's back to the series, back to stock. If you guys don't know Alex Choi, he is coming out with one of the baddest Lambos ever built in the world. Excited for everybody to see that thing. Good friend of ours. On top of that, uh, you guys remember that car? The Leapus car? We bought it. It's one of my favorite builds. Now I didn't buy it to enjoy it. None of the Sheepy Motors things. This car will be in Sheepy Motors in the But we'll talk about that later. First and foremost, let's go ahead and enjoy National 6 4 Day with my lovely 64 and Pop. So the back wheel thing is referred to as a Continental kit. I'm actually going to take that off. Those didn't come back to you on a 6 4, they came on like 61s and 62s. It's still up in the air if I'm going to leave all the gold accents. Easy E would be proud, huh, Johnny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Uh, yeah. Friday, it's jamming around, you know. Uh, we're finishing up Jeremy's for Monday. Um, Jeremy's car was originally going to be billet block and all this cool stuff, but, and the manufacturing and all this COVID, all these delays. We decided to stick to a Mac package on that thing, get him on the road, let Jeremy go enjoy his car in Omaha, beat up on all the local twin turbo cars, drag their Jeremy dragged them. Uh, on top of that, we're finishing 458 Destroyer's R8. Speaking about 458 Destroyer, we're going to show you his fucking car today. The new car we're building. We're building a couple cars for him, but I'm really, really excited about the new car. The new car is like on a whole nother level. Uh, but for now, i got to box this stuff up and send it to AGX. Give me a minute. What's up? What's up? Got a new tool today. My buddy Joel at Race Back. And he's a fancy crimper for like these kind of chingaderos. So, let's try it. This is a 12 to 10 gauge. I don't got a 12 to 10 gauge. 16 gauge. Bootleg ass crimper. Put that back. Right. Uh, 22 gauge. That's hard. Did I lose my muscles, fool? Nah. <laughs> nah, this is way too hard. Hey, fool, you put this shit together wrong. It's going too tight, fool. Because you're supposed to go all the way down. Like, keep squeezing that. About the fancy tour. We'll get right back to that. Anyway, this is my wiring department. <laughs> uh, this is where I wire through all my kids. So I really kind of love this little area. Got all my wiring tools. Our boy Johnny brought me back this from Oaxaca, from the motherland, right, fool? That's right, that's right, that's right. Big Head was out here yesterday playing with it. We'll just leave that right there for Big Head. Always got my tapatio on standby. Anyway, I'm going to wire this. So what this is, is essentially a remote device to be able to activate a switch. On some of these cars, we don't have cruise control, so we're not able to implement a lot of cool things. So I'm going to do rolling anti-lag off of a momentary button. Okay. And this is this. Tony used to install these a lot in GTRs before the Motec days. Um, and we're like, hey, let's go ahead and try this on a Huracan with no cruise control. So we're going to have a momentary button that we're, we'll be able to hold to activate the pops and bangs tune or rolling anti lag. We're just reaching out and pushing the M. So we'll give that a shot. So that's what we're doing here. My man's over here trying to figure out my crimper. Hey. Alright, so back to what I was telling you guys about my oh man's 458 Destroyer. The dude's wild. And I mean wild. I mean like wild. So he was like, listen, I want, an, I want a, a purple car. So we were looking for a purple Performante. We couldn't find it. But we found a purple Evo. But here's the downfall of the I said, yo, why don't we just get it 
and make an all-wheel drive controller. We'll use an all-wheel drive controller to make a front-wheel and rear-wheel drive whenever we want. So we're going to change the transmission and then put, you know, a hall decks in the fronts, front axles, drive shaft, etc. On top of that, he says, make it the flagship car. We can do that. Uh, and it's the perfect flagship car. So we're going to go crazy with it. I mean, stupid crazy. Um, having someone like him team up with you is, is, a, is a big deal because um, he understands the motorsport stuff very, very well. Um, not that other people don't, but he's a racer. He drives. He drives, you know, Ferraris. He does all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to see where that takes us. Um, something that we can just keep in the shop and, and, and develop, you know, if it breaks, fix it, etc. So it's going to be a cool, a, a cool couple months. So I'm going to show you guys and take you guys along for the ride, right? Um, for now, I think this guy might not have fixed my pliers. <laughs> so apparently today's not my day for wiring. My fancy Shingadera is not working. So we're going to give up on that. We will go pull out the purple people eater. That is a purple people eater. Here's the downside. Unfortunately, these seats will come out and it'll have race buckets. Unfortunately, these brakes are going to go away because we're going to put 15 inch, uh, a brake and caliper kit for 15 inch rims. Uh, other than that, we're all, we are going to add a little bit of a cosmetic twist to it through some 1016 forged items. Um, but let's get this thing out of here. First, let me enjoy my snack, Doritos with Happy Deal. This thing's bad. So, I was talking to 458 Destroyer, and that was all. You know, I don't know how to do donuts. It's like tried in the purple car. So we're going to attempt it today. None of you fools better comment that I saw, blah, 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 blah. I'm used to driving fast in a straight line, not doing stupid donuts. Like, who sits around and does donuts? What are we, a bunch of fucking kids? But I'm gonna try it. Should I try it? Yeah. What happens if I fail? Try it again. That's right. Where are we gonna try it though? Mexico. It actually feels funky because you feel the back end kind of like move a little, right, on turns. And it, if you're not expecting it, it does feel a little awkward. Um, so that's one thing that I kind of never really liked about them. See, like right there, like any little movement, like you can just feel the back. There's a way to shut that down. Uh, cool thing with the Evo, uh, just like in the last video we dropped, they do have the same cluster as the Performante. My favorite, favorite part about the Evo is it actually feels like it's modern. We have a touch screen versus uh, having all buttons and, and, and levers, etc. right? It's all touch screen. Other than the windows, traction control, emergency hazards, parking assist, and then the auto stop, in terms of car off at stop signs and shit. Um, the aerodynamics of this car is pretty impressive as well. It's not as cool as a perf, but we can make it as cool as a perf, so that's the objective, kind of like when we did a Chompa's car. We can drop a picture of Chompa's Evo here. So we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Same thing with the Evo as a Performante. It does have a center exit, so the sound is in the cabin. You know, much more inflated versus the stock current on. Um, it's West Coast Exotics new building. Look at these dudes, man, doing it big. Eric's got big money. Damn, Eric and Hunter, y'all pockets are deep. Woo! It's actually rolling there really quick. See, I know the doors are closed. I put it in there. But that's wrong. This is my hood, Marietta. We got Ziggy's, Bomb Ass Creek spot, and my ultimate, ultimate favorite spot owned by one of my boys, Casa Jimenez. Catch me there all the time. You got my favorite dish there is a pork chop. Just try them out next time you you feed in the Marietta area, visit them, have the pork chop. This car feels good. Yeah. It's a little bit 
more peppy than the perf. Maybe because it's rural drive? I don't know. Should we test launch control? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Alright. So, hold the brake. Clutch slip, but I really doubt it's clutch slip because this bitch only got 3,400 miles. So, um, let's try that again. That was pretty cool. Ready? straight all the time as long as we have traction control enabled. Yeah. On this car, when you do ESC off, it essentially turns traction control off. So by the feel of it, it felt like it only utilized traction control in first gear, or it's clutch slip. Um, it feels like it's using, slipping the, the, you know, the TCM is using the clutch to control the car to launch, yeah. which is a normal thing. Uh, we, we, we do it with our drag cars and our TCM development with the Unitronic, where we have the clutch act a certain way to get it to roll out smoother. The objective is to get the car to roll as smooth as possible. So if you guys pay attention to this launch right here, it, 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 it like, look at the tack, right, when I launch. Ready? See how it drops it? So, it, it wants to throw it to the limiter because of wheel spin, but then the TCM detect, detects it, and I'm, I'm, by the feel of it, it feels like it's using the clutch to kill it. It doesn't feel like it's cutting ignition or fuel. It just sounds too smooth. So it's definitely doing something with the TCM to control the launch. I'm, I'm actually very curious. You know, with our Unitronics logging, I can actually see what it's doing. I'm, I'm very curious to see how it's doing it. Um, to see how, it, how it's acting, right, with the factory ECU and the TCM. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm actually really impressed. Shout out to Hollywood Car Wash. Hollywood! So I started calling him Hollywood when he got too picky on me and only wants to wash cars at certain hours, do things in certain hours. Like, bro, you've become too Hollywood, bro. Ever since you watched Lambo, you think you're high and mighty. What's his real name? Sergio. Sergio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know that. What's his real name? Look <laughs> all these hoop lumps. Nice for you guys to show up. Say hi. Everybody say hi to Dan. Dance, Dan, dance. Dance, what's the dance? What's, 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 what's the surprise? I'm, I'm pulling up on the, in the GTR. To the Sweet. shop? Yeah. When? Right now, about to leave. He said hi to Lambos. Oh, we throw, hey, if you can get here in the next two hours, we'll throw the GTR in the vlog we're filming. I right, see you in a little. So, not only are we introducing the purple people eater, we're introducing my six. Well, so Big Head was in here the other day. Oh, FYI, this puppy is carbureted. So you gotta pump the gas a couple times. Alright? <laughs> what the fuck is that? We're good, we're good. <laughs> Give it a little juice, right? Let it charge for a minute. It's not the juice. It's been it's cold. The, it's it's been cold. cold. Hey, we gotta put a fuel injected in this thing. The main one. Put your manifold on. Don't take them. They make a TBI kit. That's easy. We can add that in. Look, edit, edit, edit. No, don't edit. The little linkage is going on. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I love this thing. It's on factory suspension. Um. I'm gonna put switches on it. I'm gonna put two pumps uh, and six to eight batteries by Oppos and Riverside. Um, they have some pretty badass uh, hydraulic kits, and we're just gonna take it upon ourselves and install it ourselves. We're gonna spend a Saturday, Sunday doing it ourselves. Um, so we get, it's called lane play. We're gonna go up and down on the front and the back and then air it out and put it on the ground. It should be cool. I'm excited for that. But yeah, like I was telling you guys, we did a vlog originally with it. And 
Jesse and I are up. So, now uh, the car is a factory color. This is a non Super Sport. So, the difference between a Super Sport and a non Super Sport is the Super Sport, the trim, it, it goes to the end at the back. It doesn't circle around. It has a floor shifter versus a column shifter and bucket seats versus a bench seat. And it has a 327. But from what I'm told, you could have also bought a Super Sport with a 281. This thing has a 281 in it. I don't care for speed. I don't I don't care for big engines. I bought this to cruise and chill. It is a referred to as a ragtop, aka convertible, aka spider. Um, <laughs> the anything ragtop is always in a, a substantial amount more money. Um, I wanted a ragtop, I want this my family cruiser. Throw my girl in it, my kid in his parts in the back and just roll around town, you know. So I really, really love it. It's actually the same color that my first Honda build that I ever built in 2005 was. Um, it's got what's referred to as skirts on the side, so it hides half the wheel. Uh, that's an option as well. Uh, and then, like I told you guys earlier, it has a okay, I'm going to take off. I, I don't, it's not a part of the car. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this for a minute, and then I want to build a hopper. So I'm going to build like a 63 hardtop. Um, yeah, we'll go for a drive right now in this puppy. I'll show you guys fast. National Sick Bow Day, we gotta go for a cruise, baby. Let's ride. One, two, three, and yeah. two, four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we're about to rip shit up. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you in trouble. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too low death, nigga, so we're crazy. Death row is the label that. Always gotta bump Dre when you're dipping in them pot. Always. It's just a mandatory rule. It's an unspoken rule. Bump Dre, bump C. And you get super gangster with it. I'm not gangster, but also some Zapp and Rogers, some Marvin Gaye. Do you know who that is? Fancy <laughs> <laughs> side out. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. This is all about right here. Yeah. National Six Fold Day, baby. Let's run, let's run, let's run. So we go from uh, launching Lambos to driving Six Fold. The thing is, I think it's a boat. It's cool though. The only thing I don't like is the cluster. Catch on the cluster. That's the only thing. Uh, one, of, one of my boys, Mata, is gonna actually get found me an OEM one, uh, and then he sent me to go get restored all the all the and everything. So my objective with this car is for it to be exactly how it would be in 1964, right? Uh, the only thing is the brakes. This thing has manual brakes and drums all the way around. Just kind of gets slammed down. I am going to do power brakes on it. This brakes in all four corners. Other than that, the engine, the transmission, stain, you know, all the interior. Um, I'm gonna upgrade the sound system to it. It's a little, it's a little janky. Show my, show my people. It was the same one I got. <laughs> Bro? Yeah. <laughs> What a hell of a gangster lady getting funky on the mic like an old man's a collard green. Just a cow, that's a back to the shop. So, that, there it is, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think? Should we build the fucking low rider for the channel? Should I buy a 63 and build it? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Something we can do on the weekends. Uh, that's a wrap. All right, we're just gonna close this vlog out. Dan was supposed to be here two and a half hours ago, and he is not here. I need to get to, some tuning on Jeremy Friedman's beautiful performante and pack up for my weekend. Um, everyone that entered the giveaway, thank you, thank you so much for being a part of the, the movement, the brand, and just supporting us, right? Uh, we're just like you guys, just hardworking people that love what we do. Um, if you haven't bought something, make sure you go to the site. It's till midnight tonight, buy something, enters, double entries for every dollar you spend, you get two times the amount of points, and I might see you next week. I might put you on a plane, and you might be heading out to uh, SoCal to uh, pick up your twin turbo. All right, have a good weekend, everyone.